Here's everything you need to record, live stream, edit, and repurpose your content with Riverside. Go to riverside.com to create an account. And once you log in, you can jump in and start recording right here. Riverside records with local high quality video and audio. So make sure you choose your camera, microphone, and speaker. Whether or not you're using headphones, we suggest headphones so there's no echo. And let's join our studio. Now the power of Riverside is you can record with remote guests and you both get high quality locally recorded video and audio. You can invite remote guests by clicking invite up here and sending someone the guest link or putting their email and they'll join me here in the studio. Well, Mr. Manatee has now joined us and we're ready to record, but we can also live stream with Riverside. I can click live stream here at the top and connect my YouTube channel, LinkedIn page, Facebook, and more. And by live streaming to social, we can go to all these destinations at the same time, even custom RTMP destinations. And if you live stream on Riverside, you can actually use audience mode with live audience call-ins, clickable links on screen, and more. But when you're ready to hit record, just hit record at the bottom. You'll get a countdown, and then you and your remote guests are being recorded in high quality. Now, you can share your screen for visuals, you can add videos to our media board, and more. For instance, I can go over to media, upload some video clips or audio, and then I can play those while we're recording. And if we're live streaming, our audience will see these video clips as well. And we even have multiple layout options here in the Riverside Studio for when you're live streaming. I could show myself in this vertical window with slides, videos, or screen shares to my left. This is one of my favorite layouts. I can also choose to go in a circle, picture in picture, or show my full 16 by nine video with remote guests and our shared media or screen share. To share your screen, just use the share button here at the bottom, and you can share a tab in your browser, an individual app window, or an entire display. Great for tutorial videos and even for solo recording because you can use those layouts like picture in picture in the Riverside editor. You can apply your brand to the studio, which is also great for live streaming. And we even have things like reactions. So those watching in the audience can actually share their emojis and it will be seen by the audience and us here in the studio. Then when you're done recording and streaming, just click stop and wait just a few moments because those high quality video and audio files are being uploaded to your Riverside dashboard. And once you get green check marks all the way down, everyone's free to close their browser. Now, once you're done recording, Riverside actually has a made for you tab in each project. Every time you record, it'll be a new project. You can title it your podcast episode number or whatever you'd like. And Magic Episode applies a bunch of AI tools like removing silences and filler words. So your content is almost completely edited and ready to go. Riverside also generates Magic Clips, which are vertical short form videos, perfect for social media. And that happens automatically. Magic Segments are five to 10 minute videos, perfect for your YouTube channel, in addition to your full length episodes. And Riverside even generates hooks and hooks are 30 second or less video clips, quick cuts, the most engaging moments of your recording that then you can use at the beginning of your segments or reels. But one of the first places you should go is the co-creator here in the Riverside dashboard. Here you can ask for a thumbnail image. You can ask it for complete show notes based on your recording, even newsletter emails and blog posts. And all of this will be based on your content and recording. So I'll ask it to create a blog post. And that quickly, I have a title and an entire blog post based on our content. Then I can go in and ask it for show notes to use for my podcast host, possible episode titles. That can also help me when I'm uploading to YouTube, find engaging titles that people will actually click on. And you can even ask follow-up questions and more, all with co-creator here on your dashboard. And it's also in the editor, which I'll show you in a moment. And of course, you still have access to your high quality recordings, both individual full quality video and audio tracks for you and your remote guests. You can download the raw video and raw audio, but the Riverside editor is gonna help you put it together way faster. You do get high quality local recordings of your screen shares as well, perfect for that tutorial style content. But let's jump into the Riverside editor and I can do that by clicking create. And here you can see all the things you can still generate like magic clips, hooks, segments, and more. But let's just go into the editor. Now this is my weekly podcast. We record every Thursday and I can quickly apply our podcast brand, which I've saved here and has the background image, our caption style. And if I wanna get things together even faster, co-creator is here in the editor and I can ask it just get this ready to share. I can go down to suggestions, click make ready to share. It's gonna remove silences, filler words, apply those smart layouts so it switches between the active speaker automatically. It added those captions, which I could still remove if I want. And now I have an engaging edit where it's switching between us, active speaker, highlights our screen shares when we showed visuals and more. I might be ready just to export this and that just took a few seconds. But if I want, I can actually adjust the layouts throughout my recording as well. I'll go to the layout tool and I like that vertical picture in picture look, so I can do that. I can change who appears in what window, or if I wanna see us both at the same time with the screen share, lots of layout options here, including both of us in small picture-in-picture -picture windows. Maybe I wanna make us larger and shaped as a circle. 
I can do that too. And I have so much control over the layout and how both us and screen shares or media appears throughout our recording. Now we usually have a pretty punchy intro and I wanna add some background music, but rather than searching and spending time doing that, I'm just gonna ask co-creator. I can ask it, add upbeat background music to the intro of this podcast. It's gonna find some upbeat background music, automatically insert it with fade in and fade out, and I'll be done. I didn't have to search a huge library of songs, it picked something for me in the style that I asked for. And just like that, I have our intro music added and I can ask it to insert music throughout the clip. I can even ask it to add B-roll. I'm gonna give it a little context, asking it to add B-roll clips that are technology related. That's the topic of our podcast. Maybe people scrolling on a phone, working on computers. And in a few moments, co-creator is just gonna add that B-roll for me. It's gonna be royalty free, or I can even ask it to generate AI video using Google VO3. And I have B-roll in my recording and it took seconds. And just like that, we have B-roll added. Here's someone scrolling on a device sitting on a sofa, which I asked for specifically. I also asked for a photographer up on a mountaintop, a wide shot. I even got that, and that's generated with AI using Google VO3. Now you can make incredibly engaging visuals, both with the smart layouts, B-roll, AI-generated video, and more. And if you still need to make granular changes to your recording, you can still just select text and click delete, and you're editing your video and audio, just like you're editing a Word document. I can quickly make this a vertical clip, ready to share to TikTok Reels or YouTube Shorts, and I can quickly jump to any of my other recordings and edits up here in the drawer. This way I can be editing my full-length episode and creating clips at the same time. Plus you can apply all of our AI tools manually, like removing pauses, filler words, muting tracks when someone's not speaking, and more. And when you're ready, you can export in up to 4K video quality, great for YouTube, Spotify, or wherever you wanna repurpose this media. You can always jump back in and finish up editing a clip and go to your exports. You can download these video files or you can actually share them directly to YouTube and we'll upload it so you never have to worry about putting a file on your computer. Just click YouTube and we'll upload it to your channel directly. And if you're launching a podcast, you can even host that podcast now in Riverside. Go to the hosting tab, and this is included in our pro plans and higher. Create new episodes here, and then just choose from your Riverside recordings. This way, once you're done editing, you can upload it as a podcast episode right here, and you didn't have to download anything to your computer. Once you have your first episode published, you can connect it to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and your YouTube channel, and going forward, Riverside will distribute and deliver it to all those platforms automatically. And that's how to record, live stream, edit, repurpose, and even host your podcast with Riverside. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video on YouTube. We'll answer you there. And subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. Lots of videos on gear and how to build your setup, which if you're looking to upgrade, maybe your microphone or camera, we have videos on that for all budget levels. I'll put one here. And if you're looking to grow either your YouTube channel or podcast, lots of content on that as well. I'll put a video on that right up here. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.